All right, welcome back. 5.4 e to the x properties and derivative. So natural log exponential function, okay? The function f of x equals ln of x has an inverse because it passes the horizontal line test we talked about in the uh, one of the last couple sections. The inverse of f of x equals ln of x is e to the x. Because they're inverses, it holds that if I took f of g of x and g of f of x, I both get x, which is true, so they both hold, okay? I want to solve some exponential and logarithmic equations, just some basic bare-bones stuff here. So in order to find the answer here, if I have e to some power, if I take the ln of both sides, the ln of e to the x plus 1, uh, I'm going to get, this is just the ln of 7, and the ln of e is just 1, right, and kind of, so there's two different ways to think about it. The ln of e, this is just going to drop, okay, or we can say, well, technically, if it's ln of anything to a power, the power goes in front, and the ln of e is just 1, and 1 times that is just that. So you can think of it either way, and then I get the ln of 7 minus 1 is equal uh, to x, and that's our answer for that one. Over here, I have ln of something is equal to 5. In order to get rid of ln, I take e to both uh, e to both powers, or both sides, right? e to that ln, and thus the 2x minus 3 is going to drop, equals e to the 5th. Uh, and I get 2x equals e to the 5th minus 3, divide by, by 2, and that's what x is equal to. All right, fantastic. Pretty easy, pretty, hopefully, hopefully pretty easy. Um, down here are some properties. E to, e to the a times e to the b is just e to the a plus b. Same basis, so I can combine powers. And this is the same. Um, this is oops, a plus b. This is e to the a minus b, right? When I divide powers or divide bases that are the same, I subtract powers. So this is just e to the what? e to the 6, right? Uh, this is e to the 3. This is e to the negative 4. And this is just 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Uh, I can put this as... 1 over e to the 4, but it's not necessary. Okay, you can leave it as negative 4. That's fine. Uh, properties of the natural exponential function. So the domain um, for e is going to be negative infinity to infinity, right? So every x it works. Uh, but the range is 0 to infinity, and 0 is not included. 0 is a horizontal asymptote. e to the x is continuous everywhere. Continuous and it's increasing okay on its domain e to the x is concave up so it's always going to be concave up and then the limit as it approaches negative infinity is going to be zero that's that horizontal asymptote but the limit as it approaches positive infinity is infinity right it goes on and up up without bound forever so that's kind of what that infinity means if i take the derivative of e to the x i just get e to the x but if I took the derivative of e to the u with respect to x, I get e to the u times u prime or times du, okay? Uh, we'll say times u prime. That's like your chain rule right here. So this is your chain rule of um, e to the u. And so this is the same e to the 2x minus 1 times 2, right? The derivative of that top piece. So it's 2e to the 2x minus 1. Uh, the second one here. That's e to the negative 3 over x times, now this negative 3 over x is negative 3 to the negative x, I'm sorry, negative 3x to the negative 1. So that's positive um, 3x to the negative 2. So my answer is 3e to the negative 3 over x over x squared. That's just a better way to write it. Um, yeah, yeah, that'll work. I don't know if I want to change it. I don't really want to change the E and put the E down, but I'm, I'm good there. Um, I could put the E down below, but I don't really want to. Um, and then this one um, is power, I'm sorry, is a product rule. So it's 2x e to the 4x plus x squared e to the 4x times 4. So it's 2x e to the 4x plus 4x squared e to the 4x. I don't want to take anything like terms out. That's not a big deal. Uh, so we're going to leave it that way. That's fine. The population projected of California in 20, from 2015 to 2030 can be modeled as that exponential function where t represents the year, um, where t equals 15 corresponds to 2015. At what rate will the population be changing in 2020? So in order to find out rate, 
I need to find the derivative, okay? So the derivative is this, so the rate is the derivative, right? So that's the slope. So 3, 4, 6, 9, 6, e to the 0 0.0097t times 0 0.0097. This here is your derivative, is equal to y prime, all right? And I need to find out the value at 30. So I'm finding y prime at 30 is equal to 3, 4, 6, 9, 6, e to the point zero zero nine seven times 30 times point zero zero nine seven. That's again a calculator problem, um, which is equal to four five zero point two two six thousand people a year. Thousand people per year. So that's the people in thousands. So four hundred fifty thousand people a year are going to be either moving to California, being born in California, but that's how much it's increasing. Now, like other states like Connecticut is actually losing people per year. Um, Florida is gaining people every year, but Connecticut's one of those people that are losing. So people are moving out and not as many people are being born in Connecticut as opposed to other states around the country. Uh, last one here, determine dy dx for that function. So this is another... Um, Implicit differentiation, so I get 2y, y prime is equal to, um, <clears throat> this here can, um, how do I want to do that, um, let's see, let's see, that's fine, let's do it that way, so it's just 2e to the xy times the derivative of x times y, which is product rule, so times xy prime plus y, okay, um, and then solve for y prime, so it's 2y, y prime equals, uh, let's distribute all of this stuff out, so 2x, y prime, e to the x, y, plus 2y, e to the x, y. I'm going to bring over the y primes on this side here, so I get 2y, y prime, uh, minus 2x, y prime, e to the x, y, equals 2y, e to the x, y. I'm going to factor out that y prime, times 2y minus 2x e to the x y equals this 2y e to the x y and I'm going to um, divide by that right so I get y prime equals um, 2y e to the x y over 2y minus 2x e to the x y and that is your implicit differentiation that's the curve uh, the derivative at that curve, um, whatever point we want to find it. We don't really need to know that yet, but that's what we're doing. Um, okay, I think that's it for this video. I don't think I have any more examples. I do not, so deuces. I'll see you in the next one.